select new column from the options the new calculated column has been created now we can rename this column to rename this column we have to select this column we have renamed this new calculated column as sales variation we will begin dax functions with var keyword and named this variable as diff variables stores the result of an expression as named variable which can then be passed as an argument to other measure expressions once resultant values have been calculated for a variable expression those values do not change even if the variable is referenced in another expression first we will select sales column from product table and enter minus symbol to subtract we use calculate dax function and use sub dax function and selected sales column then we use filter dax function to filter product table now we use an expression index dot one column equal to earlier of index column and close the bracket of filter dax function now close the bracket of calculate dax function then we use return keyword to get the output of this variable we must use if dax function to find whether output of diff variable is equal to value of sales column or not for that we have used value dax function and selected sales column from product table if this logical function is true then it should return zero else if this logical function is false then it should return the output of diff variable the first row the difference value is zero and the other values are available with the variances for more videos like this visit our official youtube channel petaka technologies to book your slot for online training visit our official website petakatechnologies.com to get notifications on upcoming videos subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon that's all for this video thanks for watching